So um, if this book had come out earlier, if all this information had come out earlier, do you think it would be, uh, it would be something that maybe people wouldn't accept? Mary, what do you think? You know, you, you raised a good point about this book coming out earlier. And part of that is the media's response to what happened in Seoul. And, and I was part of it. So part of this journey of this mm -hmm. book is my redemption as a reporter, because why wasn't I asking these questions back in the day? So we're getting back to something that it, it was an open and shut case, it seemed, in Seoul. And Ben complicated matters by eight months later, the Dublin Inquiry, when he was on the stand, mm -hmm. like a lot of athletes were, you know, subpoenaed to testify. Um, you know, he admitted that yes, I I was using anabolic steroids. So it all seemed like a, a sort of really uh, ugly scandal that Canadians wanted to put behind them, and and it was closed. So uh, and we didn't ask enough questions. Uh, the book probably could have come out earlier if we'd said like, I challenge that scientific evidence. What does it mm. mean that? the stenozolol metabolites were so high. Uh, what actually happened uh, in that hearing room? Like we didn't really get much into that. And the Dublin Inquiry in many ways was a really huge overreaction to what happened in Seoul. I mean, it's a massive federal inquiry. I mean, they did a good job, but they also didn't look at the thing I'm writing about right now. Like his, his um, hearing and what happened in Seoul was kind of debunked early and the whole idea of a mystery man that we didn't know the name of the guy for about a year was Andre Jackson mm. and Carlos. So all that stuff was just sort of percolating and we probably could have pounced on it. So it probably would have made a difference back in the early years. So here we are. I say it's never too late. If it's an historic injustice that is ongoing and people know or suspect that it's a historic injustice that has been <laughs> around for 36 years. It's uh, it's deserving of a review. And uh, not to belabor the point, but we know that is the case. And we know it can happen because right now there's a big crisis with the World Anti-Doping Agency looking at the tests of these 23 Chinese swimmers. And that mm -hmm. was something that, you know, the, the allegation is that those tests from that were positive uh, from about four years ago were, were covered up. So what was WADA's role in all of this? Now there's an independent investigator looking into what happened four years ago with a Chinese swimmer. So my point is now, if you can review, this is why Ben's story has some resonance now. If you can review a case from four years ago, why can't you review a case from 36 years ago?